Small towns and villages like Hentis Bay, Uis and Spitzkope heavily rely on the tourism industry. But since September, the police have received an increased number of reports of tourists falling victim to muggings. Stakeholders in the tourism sector in Hentis Bay fear that such criminal activities could hold grave repercussions for the entire region. And that is really going to impact us negatively in the sense that no more visitors will come to our town. That then in, ten, in return it means that we have lost uh, bread because our people are supposed to be employed in the tourism tourism um, BNBs, for example, the hotel, the campsites. It is alleged that the perpetrators are known to the community members. You are my brother and you go out there and you mark the tourists which is supposed to come here and sleep at the guest house where I am working. That tourist is not going to return anymore. I don't get to work, I don't get the salary, I don't get to get paid to buy electricity, to pay for water, to buy for bread, which you will come eat when you don't get anything from anywhere. Police reports indicated that criminals often overtake and stop vehicles on isolated gravel roads. Sometimes the hijackers pretend to have run out of fuel. In the latest incident, thugs approached a vehicle, smashed the windows and removed property from the car. Tourists have so far identified three males traveling in a silver sedan car as the perpetrators. The police have urged travelers on the Hentis Bay with Yusakos roads to be vigilant and to report any suspicious movements and vehicles to the nearest police station. Renata Rinkura, NBC News, Hentis Bay.